Hey everyone, I'm Jack and Pearl, and today I'm doing a rant on should anime be judged on its art style, or should a anime series be judged on its art style. So, let's get to it. So, I personally don't reckon that a series should be based on its art style, but for an anime, especially one that isn't an adaptation of a manga, it's an adaptation, oh it's not, well it could be an adaptation of a video game, it could be an adaptation of a light novel, now video games and light novels adaptations doesn't quite, you might have an idea what the art style is. But it's especially a brand new series that's say like Guilty Crown which didn't have any form of other it didn't have an adaptation, it was an original series. There is a when it comes to that you really do rely on what say the shorts are or what posters and that does, um, advertise the series. So it's just one of those things of the first thing that you see is the art style. Or well, the first thing in any anime series that is out is the art style. At times you get a backstory first but Story doesn't come till after you've seen the art style because it takes a few episodes to set the story for anything. It, it's not like I start and in the first second of the first episode of a season, story set. So really, the first thing that you do notice is the art style. When if an anime has a appealing art style, it's probably going to get more views. Now that being said, there are anime that do look good, but don't have a good story. And there are anime that don't look as good, but have a great story. And it's just one of those things... But that being said, there are anime that have an amazing art style, and have a shit story, and there's other anime that don't have a good art style, or the art style could be better, and have an amazing story. One example for the latter is me personally, Laurie No Seraph. When I first saw it, again, you see the art style first, and the first thing I saw was backgrounds. And those first few background shots really bugged me, it looks, it looks a bit old, in my opinion. Well, the story was amazing, and that's just like with, let's say, Dragon Ball. I'm not the biggest fan of the Dragon Ball art style, but I reckon the story is good. And same with the Seven Deadly Sins anime. I'm not a big fan of the art style. Some aspects of the art style I'm okay with, but others I'm not okay with. And for me personally, since I do draw most of what I see, having something that does look nice and has a good... well, it does look nice and whatnot, has more of a chance that I'm going to draw it. So, yeah. But, like I said, there's plenty of anime that have a good art style but don't have a good story or no story at all. But at times, an anime isn't meant to have a solid. Not really a solid, but. not have that much of a story as maybe about a character or a group of characters instead of their 
journey through whatever issues that they really could have fought up. But yeah, so personally, I do think that uh, you really sh well, it's up to you, but I personally think that anime should not be judged on its art style, but it's hard not to when you the first thing that you see is or the first thing that's set in stone is the art style. That being said, if I know I do it, and a few other people will do it too, but in a sense of if you are trying to figure out if you like a series or not, is me personally, by the time I get to the third episode, I usually know if I like it or not. Same, and that's as a series. Because usually by then, some form of story has been set, so there's a bit more information that you know of, and the art style might work with it, it might not, and I don't really know, it depends on what your own personal tastes are, I guess. But, yeah, like, let's say, K for example, I love K, I thoroughly enjoy the art style and the camera angles that they use, but I've got a few f friends that actually don't like it, because uh, well, well, one said he didn't like the art style, the other actually hasn't claimed as to why he dislikes it. So, yeah. But, um, it does, it does come down to your personal preference, but I don't really think a series should be judged straight away on its art style. And that's why for stuff like my anime list and any chart, when you go to have a look at a different series, that there's actually some form of like blurb or something that describes what the series is about instead of it just being the poster. Because if you just see a poster, you're going to judge it straight on that art, but even so, with that blurb, the first thing that you're going to look at is the art style. But if you go through my anime list to have a look for a different series, and you don't think the art style looks good, do actually read the blurb, because the story might interest you. But, and also, at times, the posters are deceiving. I know for Gold Eater, I actually don't, I actually can't watch Gold Eater. I tried it, but I just couldn't, and at first, and okay, art style was what got me, but when I saw the poster for it, and I read the blurb and everything, I went, oh, this could be, this looks good, this looks good, but I didn't like how the animation was done in Pretty much everything artistically just pissed me off to the point that I couldn't even focus on the story. So, yeah, we've all got our own dislikes and likes, and our own way of discovering stuff, but at the same time, not every poster is, uh, depending on what the poster shows, may not be an accurate representation of not so much the art style but the animation quality. And what I mean by that's how the characters move and everything. Which is really what got me with God either. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments section below as to whether anim different anime series should be judged by their art style or if they should be given a chance to prove that they are that they are a series with a good story. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video, and then I'll see you all next time. The next one. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like or comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more content by me, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It means a lot. I've left links to my previous video right over here. And I've also left links to my other social media accounts, which is down in the description. 
and thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. See ya.